first thing that ever got me into uh, trucks were literally just used to go with my mom to Walmart when she'd shop. I would uh, go sit in the magazine aisle and flip through magazines. Mini truck, trucking, street truck, low rider magazine. After that, I always had a Hot Wheels collection. I was limited on space. They did some measuring of the garage, measurements for the factory trucks, extended cabs, crew cabs. Nothing would fit. Uh, washer and dryer just wouldn't allow it, being they're both in the garage. So we decided single cab full size. I love cat eye front ends. They are something about them. They look mean when they're laid out. Uh, me and Billy went over kits, um, budget, and then we talked about wheel size. Me and Misty went back and forth about things. Me and Billy went back and forth. I had to do something different. I couldn't be like everybody else you know, 24s or 26s, so I found these 28s local. Um, guy had five wheels, five tires. They were all good. So went from there, I called extensive, ordered their full kit, their front kit, their two link. Um, after we did, me and Billy did everything. Day in, day out, uh, for three months, we crunched. Uh, I had this wild idea that the truck was going to come out for OBI and debut. I'd work a 12-hour shift, come home, sit down and eat dinner with the family, and it was straight to the garage. And some days it was in the garage until I had to literally go to work the next day. There'd be nights where I'd be out here by myself, and Misty would go to bed, and she would wake up, you know, some early time in the morning, and. She couldn't see me in the camera, but the truck was, you know, up in the air. The garage door was open, all the lights were on, but she couldn't find me. And she'd come out here yelling my name and scare the shit out of me. I'd hit my head, bust my knuckles, drop wrenches on my forehead, all, just all around bad scenario being underneath the truck, you know. Debuted the truck at an Orange Beach Invasion. Drove it cross country. We went all over with it. Uh, enjoyed it. I beat the shit out of it. I built this truck to drive as low as possible, and it doesn't get picked up unless I'm making a hard turn. Truck went to Scott Reefus in Panama City with Intense Works. Uh, he did all the paint and body work. Um, I kept adding to his list and. Time frame was already short because it had to be done for scraping the coast this year. Scott absolutely knocked this one out the park for me. Uh, Misty, you know, picked the colors, the combinations. The she was the backbone to this build. Um, she supported it 100%. Uh, sacrifices were made to get the truck ready and finished. Scott, you know, stepped up and worked countless hours day in and day out to get the truck where it needed to be. From, he took it down to bare metal in places. He replaced rocker panels because I destroyed them and they were they were just they were already gone. So I mean, why not take them all the way out? I added a lot of stuff to Scott's list: shaven gas door, flush mount gas cap, shaved bed rails, shaved tailgate, relocate the, the handle inside the bed. Spent weeks getting the bed floor ready. Brad Hogan with Bomber Interior did a full bead rolled sheet metal bed floor. He knocked that out. He did that in three days. He spent hours and hours in his shop getting it right. Um, One-off design. Uh, there's not another one out there like it. When it came time to do the body work on that, me and Scott went back and forth with smoothing the bed floor out and painting it. But with doing that, I lost the usability of it and Misty came up with this wild idea of painting it, back taping it, and then bedlining it. Um, Scott said he's never done it, never seen it done. The hell with it, let's do it. After the truck debuted, uh, it's, here it is.
you know, I mean, uh, Misty, you know, the colors, uh, we went back and forth for six months, uh, couldn't find any colors, and I kept gravitating to similar colors to this, I don't know, couldn't figure out why, and then old pictures started popping up on my news feed, you know, memories, and then it came to going back and looking at when I was painting the Toyota, looking at colors that I picked out for that. And I don't know, we just looked and looked and Misty found this. This is a, this is Kaikoura Stone Metallic. Comes off of a Range Rover. Different lighting to cause different effects and you see different colors and tones in it. And when we started looking at old pictures after the truck was painted, I realized that this color is almost the exact color of the Toyota. The wheels and interior are painted Mojave Copper off of Infinity FX 35. The black is Brilliant Black off of the Chryslers. Um, Misty did the interior, both those colors, and after seeing it done and put back in the truck, um, it's perfect. Um, I can't tell her thank you enough for all that she put up with building this truck, the headaches I gave her with arguing about colors. <laughs> this truck holds a, a pretty special place in my heart because it's my first ever start to finish build. My name is Nick Jacobo. This is my 2007 Chevy Silverado Classic, bagged and body on 28s, also known as the same. Devil in a red dress, call 911, I'm a killer. Throw the fucking chair at you yeah. <laughs> at this point. Alright, uh, gotta do one more thing. And now I'm ready taking over. Cause every day I'm getting closer. Just look at everything I'll show ya. And now I'm ready, I'm a blow up. <laughs>